Hello, this is a, uh, something I've been looking forward to for quite a long time, the arrival of the new Dacia Duster in the UK. And the reason I like it so much is because I've always enjoyed the, the ethos of the company, which is everything you need, nothing you don't. It's a car that's built on simplicity, it's affordable, it's strong, it just works. But everything, or nearly everything, about this car is different. If you look at it, you'll see that the, the styling is quite different from the previous model. Same size, same weight, but um, based on a new platform called the CMFB, which is the one that goes underneath the Sandero and the Jogger. So it's a modern platform, which means that the, all the group uh, powertrains can go into it. There are three types of engine. There's a 140 hybrid, which is the top model. There's a 130 mild hybrid, which goes with this car, which is the four-wheel drive. You have to have the mild hybrid with the four-wheel drive. And there's a basic 100, which is a bi-fuel car that will, has a 50-litre gas tank and a 50-litre petrol tank. And if you put them together, you can do 850 miles without having to refuel. So it's great. Um, let me show you a few things. Um, it's generally a sort of slightly tougher looking car. The previous model is rather sort of curvaceous and a little bit outmoded now. This car is a bit more architectural. You'll see these squared off wheel arches which look very good, very also pretty tough. I gather from what they tell us that the in off-roading these things protect the car very well. Um, as you see some some lovely sort of modern features. Um, very handy roof bars which can be configured across the car to make it into a proper roof rack, really good. Um, it's, this, as I say, the same size as the outgoing car but it's nevertheless more spacious and the place where you notice the space in particular is in the back. If um, I've just had the experience of sitting behind a rather large bloke in the front, rather large bloke in the rear and it worked, it was good, spacious. Um, as you see, probably if you know the previous car, you'll know that this is an entirely different fascia. It's now screen based, quite a big 10 inch screen in the center, but in effect simple, much simpler than uh, many of the cars that get criticized for, for the screen thing. Uh, comfortable, seats are familiar, uh, height adjustable and so on. Um, just a thoroughly practical, well-made car. No frills, but everything you could possibly need. Um, it, uh, I've just been driving it on, on an off-road course, and it was terrific. It was a bit of a funny experience because of the, it's got a one point, this particular, the four-wheel drive has got a 1.2 litre three-cylinder engine, which doesn't sound like enough, except that it's augmented by a mild hybrid motor, which is, in effect the starter motor which assists the petrol engine and as you go around the four-wheel drive course the two chime together to give it surprising amount of low-end power it, it works fine um, I uh, still found that there was a fair bit of clutch manipulation needed to make it go really slowly but it was good um, but the big question for me is the following um, I have to decide, as a Dacia liker, a person that likes Dachas, I have to decide whether to replace this, which is my car of the last three years and 30,000 miles, with the new model. This is a four-wheel drive. It's a diesel, so it's quite a different driving experience, but similar size, similar traction, similar functionality. And I think the honest truth is, I, th I think I would do it, because I like the idea of the triple, um, I like the styling, I certainly like the extra space. So I think over the next months my trusty old blue chariot here might find itself with a new owner and I might own something like the one behind us. It's a good car.